here we are. We kind of haven't really missed much here. Uh, the only thing is I've done that you guys have not seen, which you'll see on my Instagram, which follow me here. Uh, I just did the valve cover gaskets. Those were leaking. So like I said, I uh, just finished up doing the valve covers and the gaskets, and now we are going to tackle pulling the intake manifold. Kind of waited a little bit for it to be a little bit warmer because it's been really cold out. The garage doesn't have heat, so um, now that I have some time, it's nice out. I'm gonna pull the intake manifold. I got hit with the typical uh, Subaru fuel leak. The fuel lines were leaking underneath. Drove it through the winter like when I first bought the car, everything, whatever. And then uh, it was just too cold. Jesse was over. We were going to pull the intake manifold to swap everything, but it, everything was just going horribly. So we didn't do that. So then I didn't drive the car in the winter, this previous winter, because I had the cross track. So it wasn't really a high priority. It was fine in the summer when everything was like warm and swelled up. So now that uh, we're finally here, we're going to replace those lines with something a little bit better. Yeah. So while we are in there, we have some goodies going in there. All this stuff is from Ryan. Uh, Ryan and, and Matt from Illuminati, also vibrant. Not sponsored, but sponsored me. The fuel rails are Illuminati, same ones that are on the Legacy Wagon. Uh, the TGB housings are his TGB housing deletes, uh, TGB deletes. So because I'm going top feet, I needed new fuel rails, I needed new fuel lines, new injectors, so that kind of turned into a rabbit hole, but I'd rather do things right the first time and then be done. So uh, I bought these second hand and they didn't have the top uh, groove cut in them because they were for a plastic manifold. So I sent these off to Matt, he machined the new O-ring in there for me, as well as cleaned them up, gave me a whole new hardware kit, so massive thank you to Matt from Illuminati. Uh, that's what these guys go for, are for, the uh, the vibrant uh, bungs, the Dash 6 fittings. Those will go on the side of fuel rails, and then Ryan makes these. Uh, if you're replacing your fuel rails with aftermarket rails, but you're still stock fuel system, which I am, uh, he can make you the hose kit, so then that way you can drop everything in and be good to go. So here's all the fuel lines. Beautiful. Uh, so we're running uh, STI blue injectors, decapped. So all this stuff will go under the intake manifold. This is replacing all of the crappy fuel system Subaru has, as well as a Area 1320 electronic boost control solenoid is going in as well. As well as while we're in there, I still have a parent inlet to go in. IG braided oil feed line for the turbo, as well as AVCS. You guys see that beautiful aerial set there. Uh, that's all that's going into the car today. I have a whole bunch of other parts from Awesome People, Grim Speed, uh, as well as something cool coming from Art that you guys will see in a bit. Um, but yeah, so that's the goal for today. We're going to pull the intake manifold. The intake is out, the turbo's out, the, there's nothing down there, there's no manifold, no nothing. Battery's out, coolant tank's out, everything is out of this car. This is draped over here, so we're going after this today. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, I've been making my making progress. Uh, I personally never pulled one of the intake manifolds, so I kind of just like zoned in on it and uh, wasn't really a lot of talking. But I will link you to my buddy Bling Strom's website. Uh, he has a whole bunch of awesome tutorials and how-tos on these cars. That's the tutorial I've been following as far as pulling the intake manifold. So everything's loose now, as you can see, and I just sent, sent Ryan uh, from 1320 a text as far as which lines I'm disconnecting, what I'm leaving for the fuel system. We're going to the top feed conversion kit, so don't know what's going on with that. Broke a couple things, but we'll get into that in a minute. Awesome. There we go. So uh, I got the monstrosity out, which is the intake manifold. So this is the top. This is the top of my motor. So there's a whole bunch of debris from broken, uh, just uh, the loom material and stuff like that, as well as just corrosion and shit. So I'm gonna spend some time vacuum all this up, clean this up. We gotta pull the crossover tube off as well because it is um, it's leaking in the back. So I got O-rings for that. 
So yeah, let's uh, pull this all apart and uh, yeah. Made a ton of project progress. Those are the old TGB housings. These are the new TGB delete housings. As you can see, as you can see, there's a difference. So these have the valves in them, as well as the original side feed, uh, side feed injectors. These clearly bloop, do not have anything. So the purpose of these flaps is they'll shut and force air through that small ass gap, and that kind of tumbles the air and forces a quicker uh, warm up. As well as, as you can see, these use a typical gasket. These have an O-ring gasket, so they're reusable, which is awesome. Uh, cool little feature here, that right there. Uh, that actually moves back and forth. There's a couple manifolds that had different spaced holes, so instead of trying to make specific housings, they just move. So big shots to Matt for being innovative on that. Um, there you can see the factory pressure regulator, which all that is gonna go in the junkyard. Uh, some people will port out the factory TGB housings, get rid of that and delete all that. But uh, I figure I wanted to go top feed anyway and I kinda wanted to just do things the right way. So we got some TGB housings to go in. Uh, next up, the harness. I'm gonna actually undo all that and just kind of re retape it. Uh, the old tape is kind of just crackling and brittle and just crap. So just gonna retape everything, make it nice. Uh, and then we have a new inlet to go in. As you can see, it's a parent inlet. Uh, the parent inlets are really nice because they reinforce the entirety of the uh, piece. Whereas the factory one, as you can see, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. As well as the corrugations here, they like to break and fail. And then this here, it rips, which goes over the turbo. Rips all the time, and then you got boost leak, and uh, it's just not a good time, so. Junko. I just wanna first off apologize uh, for the severe lack of updates with the car. It really came down to I've just been waiting to hoard a couple more parts because it didn't make sense to do X without Y and Z and then Z without L and M and a P, uh, whatever you want to spell there. So I was waiting for a couple more parts to come in uh, and now I have 90% of the parts I need. Uh, I have enough of the parts I needed to attack pulling the intake manifold. Um, I got sidetracked with the valve covers and then evidently the spark plug tube gaskets are separate from the valve cover gasket so I had to buy those and blah blah blah. Anyway, uh, so we're back on track. I have the TGB housings from Illuminati. I have the fuel system from Ryan. So full steam ahead. I just have to run to my parents' house to grab a couple more tools for the uh, Illuminati fuel rails to housings to this to that. Uh, because he uses awesome uh, Allen bolts for everything, which is really cool. Uh, first really nice day we've had in a while. Uh, the previous few days has been really shitty with the weather wise, it's really being just crappy outside. So when I get home from work, I just wanna go inside, shower and relax. Uh, uh, there hasn't been much talking in this video only because it's not, not a lot of talking can be going on. It's just a lot of grunt work. And like I said, I'm gonna link to you, uh, my buddy Blingstrom's, um, his tutorials on how everything I just did, that's literally what I read and just did. So uh, I'll give you guys those link links right here. Thanks again, Blingstrom. And then we're gonna get right back into it. <laughs>
Now I'm gonna prep the parent inlet. Uh, it's basically gonna sit bloop, right around there when all said and done. The turbo's gonna be back there and all that fun stuff. But I figure now I might as well prep it with all the fittings because you gotta press, push all your fittings in there and then we can install the intake manifold. All right, all right. So the manifold is in. Uh, temporarily, it's not bolted down at all. The harness is not connected, but uh, it is in, and you can just see how much more room there is now that all that stuff's out of the way. Uh, it's kind of wild to see how much room is under there, and how many fuel lines go back and forth, and how fucking overcomplicated it is. So anyway, as you guys can see down there, the Illuminati fuel rails are on, the Illuminati TGV deletes, and the STI fuel injectors. Uh, I just have to shave the ears down, and then I can plug them into my factory harness. Um, because the ears, the little tabs on the side are a little bit different from the side feeds, but no big deal. So again, just going to sand those down, make them smooth, connect the injectos, and then uh, we're making really, really awesome progress. And then can run the uh, fuel lines that Ryan made me from 1320. My hair is a man. Uh, first full day I had to work on the car for in a long time. Just been super busy with that, everything else under the sun. So it was nice to kind of just work on the car. If you guys like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe.